Hey, it's Josh coming to you from the RPM shop. Uh, we just received these strikers. We started shipping them out this last week and uh, consumers are starting to get them. Dealers are starting to get them. Everybody's really excited about them. We're starting to field quite a few different phone calls as far as how to adjust them, as far as draw length, um, draw weight. Uh, and so we want to shoot some tutorial videos on, uh, you know, how to turn wrenches on these things so that everybody, you know, does it safely in the correct way. Um, what we're going to discuss in this particular tutorial is how to adjust the draw length. Um, and it's super simple, both on the nitros and the strikers, they operate exactly the same. Um, if you look back here at this, uh, this stop, there's a draw stop screw that's got a big rubber head on the top of it. There's a nut, a washer, a lock washer, and then a flat washer. What you're going to do is you've got to keep these in. You cannot, please, you cannot remove these with this striker. If you remove them, the, it'll allow the bow to fold over as you're drawn back and it'll actually lock back in full draw. It's a little intimidating when it happens. It's super simple to fix. You just grab the limb tips and then force them back forward. But again, you're not ever going to run into that issue if you follow the instructions. Um, and I know all of you do. So uh, you make sure you leave these draw stop bolts in your, in your striker. The way that you adjust draw length um, on, again, both the nitro and the striker is you're just going to simply twist to decrease the draw length. You're just going to increase the amount of thread that you see here. So we're going to take this bolt and push it towards this string limb. What that'll do is it'll stop this string limb from going further back, which is going to shorten the draw length. If you want to increase the draw length, then you're just going to simply twist this bolt down and then once you match it top to bottom so what you're going to do is you're going to draw it um, you know with a with a measuring arrow um, you know once you've got it to the correct to draw length um, and both of these pads are hitting the the string limb in the same spot both top and bottom then what you're going to do is take a little wrench tighten up that nut so everything's tight so it can't vibrate loose and then you've got it set. It's super, super simple, as long as you follow those simple steps. So for other information on the Striker, the Nitro, or uh, other RPM products, make sure you look us up online at rpmbowfishing.com.